Before we start, I would want you to hit that red subscribe button so you never miss out on any of our videos. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Travel Global. While we all love visiting new places, trying out new food, and getting some RC shots for the gram, I know I speak for most of us when I say traveling is so stressful. Packing list, filling everything into your suitcase, layovers, and whatever else is just exhausting. In this video, you'll learn some tricks which can make this stressful experience much more fun. Number one, overnight bag. Have you ever had an airline lose your baggage? I have. Although they usually find it in a few days, it's still very difficult to survive those days without your necessities, especially if you're in a country where you don't know anyone. You could use a small hand carry for this or a backpack. Just pack an extra outfit and whatever else you may need in case your luggage gets misplaced. To make a list, simply ask yourself what you use more often and stuff all of that in the bag. This may save you one day, trust me. Number two, never pay for water at airport. Airports are expensive, and I'm not talking about that $2,000 flight. I'm talking about everything else. I've seen water being sold for ridiculous prices in multiple airports in the world. So I found a hack for you. Take a refillable bottle everywhere you go, because chances are, there's going to be a drinking fountain somewhere where you can fill the bottle up once you've crossed security. Number three, roll your clothes for more space. Do not fold your clothes in your suitcase. That'll take up so much room and you may run out of space before your weight limit has been reached and nobody wants that. Just roll your clothes out so they become smaller and compact, so you can fit more of them by laying each cylinder next to each other. Voila! More space for the things you're going to buy on vacations. Number four, charge your electronics using a TV. It is so annoying when your charging block doesn't correspond with the outlets, but don't be alarmed. Before going out and purchasing a heavily overpriced one, just stick your USB charger into the television in your hotel room. A quick fix for a terrifying situation. How are we supposed to take pictures if our phones are dead? Number five, buy a portable phone charger. On the topic of phones and charging, please buy a portable charger before you leave for your vacation. They range in prices, but you can get some as cheap as $10, and it'll last you ages. This is definitely my traveling must-have. If there are no outlets left to charge your phone during your layover, just plug it into this small device and you won't need to worry about your phone shutting down. Just don't forget to pre-charge the portable charger. That won't end well. Number six, physical and electronic copy. Technology is everything now and people don't think it's necessary to carry physical copies of anything anymore. But if you think so, you're wrong. Anything can happen at any time. Your phone could die, you could lose it, it could freeze or crash. Just to be on the safe side, and bring a physical copy and keep it on you at all times. Number seven, mark your luggage as fragile. It doesn't matter if you have a glass teacup set in your suitcase or if all you have in there are some half-heartedly thrown clothes. Just label it as fragile so the airline will be gentler with it. This is just a great precaution to take regardless because we'd rather our items get to our destination in one piece than many. Not only that, but the fragile luggages come out before the rest. So if you don't want to be waiting around for an hour or more for your bags, this is a good sneaky little hack. Number eight, reserve your seats. I know this doesn't seem like a hack, but for anyone who gets to the airport then chooses their seats, I ask you, why? You can make sure you spend however many hours long your flight is more comfortably in your preferred seat than in the middle of two people who logged in early and registered for their ILN window seat. You don't want to be a human sandwich, do you? It takes a few minutes, depending on the speed of your internet, and it can just make your entire flying experience so much more enjoyable. Number nine, download Google Translate for offline use. Google Translate has saved people time and time again. If you're in a country and don't speak the language of the locals, make sure to keep this app on for use when you don't have an internet connection. To do, simply go to settings and select offline use. Now, you can type in whatever you want to say in the language you know and eliminate the problem that comes with a language barrier. Number 10, use incognito mode. 
Cookies enable airline websites to use the dates you've implemented into different airline sites and using this information can increase the prices of the tickets for those days. If you use incognito mode, they can't save this information and so will give you a general, and often lower, ticket price than they would have using regular browsing. Traveling is expensive regardless, so if you have any chance to save a few dollars, I say take it. This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any of our videos in the future. Also, watch the two videos that are on your screen because I'm sure you'll love them. With that, I'll see you in the next video.